uh, but we do, are counting degrees and they're not going to be very many of they're them. They're dropping. We're watching them just go away as the days <laughs> go off. on. It is going to be so cold moving forward in the next couple of days. Outside right now, things are pretty quiet. Might have a little bit of drizzle out towards southeastern Indiana. You can kind of see some of that popping up here on radar. And I saw some reports of some light rainfall out here. So yeah, there's still a possibility of some really light sprinkles for tonight, but I think for the most part, we are starting to dry out. We had that front move through that brought us all the rainfall last night. I heard it while I was up extra late cooking everything last night. You could kind of hear some of the rain coming down. Moving forward, rain chances will be non-existent. However, we are still going to have the chance for seeing some snow moving forward. Could have a couple of flurries around tomorrow. I think in general they are going to be very light. If we do see any sort of snow flurries kind of moving through the air, it's just going to be so cold outside that any lit little bit of leftover moisture could lead to a little bit of some light snow kind of flying through the sky. I think if that is going to happen, it's going to be before 6 p.m. After that, we start to dry out, but then Saturday brings us another chance of seeing some flurries. But bottom line, if you're out shopping tomorrow, if you're going out to light up the square, finding your perfect Christmas tree, whatever it is, it is going to be cold outside. Bundle up temperatures throughout the day tomorrow are going to feel like anywhere from about 15 up to about 25 degrees and that's it. It's going to be a little bit breezy tomorrow evening. So we are talking about winds around 15 miles per hour. Keep this in mind, especially if you are going to light up the square. I don't know what it is about Fountain Square, but it always feels like it's extra windy right through there. So just keep that in mind. Going through Saturday though, we will start to see mostly dry conditions through the majority of the day Saturday, but then Saturday night brings us a little bit of a different story. So the rest of tonight, if you're still headed out to families' houses or if you're coming home, it's going to stay cold outside. Temperature, temperatures start to drop down to the 30s. Then by Friday, if you're waking up early to go shopping tomorrow, feels like 19 at about 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning. A couple flurries will be a possibility, but overall I do expect to be mostly dry tomorrow. For light up the square, temperatures are going to be anywhere from, feels like temperatures at least, 16 to about 21 degrees. That wind will be around 15 miles per hour. Again, I don't know what it is about Fountain Square, but it always feels like there's an extra breeze down there. So just keep that in mind. Dress nice and warm. Saturday, decided to make it a weather impact day because we have the chance for some late showers, snow showers that is. Saturday night, I think most of that's going to come into play around 6 o'clock or later Saturday. So if you're headed out to the UC football game, could be some snow flurries, if not at the very beginning, at some point throughout the game. Now, if you're making the drive up to Columbus for the game tomorrow afternoon, that one looks to be dry but cold. It actually looks like it's going to be just as cold in Columbus as it is going to be here. Sunday, meanwhile, temperatures at kickoff are going to feel more like 20 degrees outside, so really cold out there on Sunday as well. That's going to be the trend moving forward for several days. I actually don't think we see temperatures reaching out of the 30s until mid to late next week. Wednesday, Thursday chances for temperatures reaching into the mid and upper 40s. But other than that, it is going to be incredibly cold outside. Again, for light up the square tomorrow, if you are headed out to that, temperatures are going to feel like 21 to 16 throughout the entire event. Meanwhile, the thermometer, your phone, it's going to say about 31 to 27. Chris?